Microsoft OneDrive. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. So in this session, we're going to talk about deleting any kind of file or the folder from your drive and also recovering those files. So in order to delete or recover any kind of files or folder, you need to know certain thing. By default, if you see the all the deleted items, actually it's been stored in your recycle bin. That means any file I delete. So let's say I have some of the files over here. So let's see this file, okay? This file I'd like to delete. This is the shared file. No problem, I'm going to delete this file. So the name of this file, let's make it sure. The name of this file is my shared one, okay? My shared seed. Okay, now if I delete this file, you'll see that this file will be stored in our recycle bin. This is the location, see this one now. So now there are certain things that you need to do in, in order to delete or before you restore the data. Now, here, Whenever we delete any objects, any file or the folder, that goes by default in your recycle bin. That is the one location that's going to get stored in a temporary basis. Now the next question rises over here. So how long these files are going to remain in your recycle bin? So if you are using the free version, okay, in that case you are going to have uh, the file deleted all the objects stored in recycle bin for the 30 days. So if you are using for the business account, in that case, it will be able to hold your, the, all the deleted objects minimum for the 90 days. Okay, now let's see the file, this file we deleted just now, now how to restore. It's simple, you go to the re recycle bin, it's same like your desktop or an operating system that you use for the Windows, whenever you delete any kind of file, that will obviously go to the recycle bin. So here, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna select this file and simply here is the option, restore. Or if you'd like to restore all of these items, then there is option for restore all items. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, normally user don't want to restore all of the objects. So they might be interested to restore any of the important file they might have deleted by mistake. And you do have another one option, same like your operating system in the Windows. So that's why some of the, you know, interface, it looks like similar to the Windows operating system. So over here that we have empty recycle bin. That means all of the files that we have temporarily stored in this recycle bin. If you are interested to delete all of these files, you can simply click. And obviously, I think you don't want to do that. So now, apart from that, in order to restore, just click the file and restore it. Now, let's see again in my files that file is removed. Now, if I select that de deleted object that we deleted right now, set file, that means my set sheet, this is a one file and I'm gonna restore it. So as soon as I restore, see, it was shown over here, restored. Now, if I go to my files to back and then you'll see that file is restored. This is the file, okay? Now, apart from that, you have so many other information to go through over here. Now, this shows the recycle bin. Okay, now, if you want to search this file in order to, you know, search for any purpose, you have option over here. You can see the file as per the size. Okay, see, as per the size. Now, you do have option to see the file as per the deleted date. See, as per the deletion. And you do have some other option over here. You can see the original dislocation. It might be in descending order or in ascending order, see now, ascending order or descending order as per your date and all that objects have been deleted. So these are the different options that you have. That means you need to understand that whenever you delete any object, any file or folder, directly or straight away it goes to your re recycle bin. So from the recycle bin, you can restore. But still, if you remove from the recycle bin also, this is same like the Windows operating system, you will not be able to restore from here. Okay, so I, I hope it was easy to understand how you can restore all the deleted item and for how long the files and the folders are going to get stored in your recycle bin. So if it was easy to you in order to understand, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.